Well, there is sometimes an unfortunate thing we have to worry about when the snow starts to come down and you're cleaning up the snow because there's an increased risk for heart attack at this time of year. Health and wellness reporter Lauren Petty is here with more on that today. Lauren? Yeah, we have to have a talk about the real reality which comes with this exertion, right? It's been a while since many of us have had to shovel snow, but it's not just that physical exertion that raises the heart attack risk. The cold air can increase your blood pressure while restricting your coronary arteries at the same time. So that combined with the extra physical effort of clearing away all the snow is the reason why you do really need to take shoveling and even snow blowing seriously. We did talk to a sports medicine doctor. She recommended only shoveling just a few inches at a time, even if that means you do have to go out multiple times during the day. And she showed us the best way to avoid injury. The higher it is, the heavier it is. You want to make sure that you're using proper technique when you're shoveling as well. So you want to take the shovel, you want to make sure you're bending at your knee, you're not doing this from your back. You want to use your body mechanics. You can even change hands to make sure that you're not fatiguing. You should also switch sides often to avoid tiring out just one side of your body. And remember, please take frequent breaks. If you feel shortness of breath, chest pain or pressure or even lightheadedness that doesn't go away after a rest break, that's when you need to call for help. And if you have a cardiac condition, you should not be shoveling snow. Ask a neighbor or even hire a service if you can. And lastly, even if you think you're healthy, doctors say you should always let someone know when you're going out to clear away the snow and take your cell phone with you just in case. Alex. All right, really good tips, Lauren. Thanks so much.